Hey romance readers, Linda here. Welcome back to Adore R. Sorry, I didn't get to make a video yesterday. I know I said in my last video that I was coming back on Friday to do another video. It just didn't happen. I'm sorry. So I said I was going to do it today and I just was cleaning up my room and cleaning up the house and I just got behind now making this video late, late, late at night. So, <laughs> and they're going to be late when I post it. So here I am with the video. I said, I got to get this video out. So, and uh, probably this week, I probably want to be doing a video. I probably have to do it the week after after this week. Um, so I will be coming back to do two videos to make up for this week. Cause I don't think I'm going to get to post a video. So I'm letting you know earlier, I probably won't be posting a video this week. So I had to get this one in right quick. So let's get started. I have six books here I want to share with you. And like I mentioned in my other video that they're going to be older books. Because I haven't read anything um, lately. I just started that book that I uh, mentioned on for my TBR for this month. Uh, I forgot what the name of it was. But I'm reading on that. And then I also got the book in. I remember I told you I had read uh, A Promise of Fire. Highly recommend it. And I had ordered the second book. And it came. Here it is. It's... Um, breath of fire and th then i stopped reading my the book i had for my tbr i started reading i was like let me put this book down i am not going to read it because i want to read I, I think i mentioned that the third book is going to be out in january so i'm just going to save this if i can i'm gonna try to save this until i get the third book so i can just read both of them and because when i finish this i know i'm gonna be like i can't wait for the third book to come out and it don't come out to january so I'm going to be up a creek without a paddle. So I'm just going to wait till the third book come out. And I'm going to try to save that. Hopefully I can do that. So let's get started. Like I said, I only have... Did I say six books? I only have five books I want to recommend to you today. And like I mentioned earlier, they're going to be older books. Uh, first up, I have Linda Ladd Miller. Laura Lee, I'm sure many of you have already read this book. I think this was a pretty popular book back in the day. And this was published. Uh, this was published uh, 1986. And it's a historical. Laura Lee by Linda Lamp Miller. And I'll read a little bit of this. Synopsis. Laura Lee Parker knew too well what drink could do to a man. Her own husband had died at the door of a town saloon. With hymns and hatchets. Laura Lee and the women of Harpens Ferry closed down all the taverns, all but the one Jay McCullen was determined to save. After his brother, a saloon keeper, was found brutally slain, Jay had come to town ready to accuse Laura Lee, only to be cap captivated by her winsome beauty. The proud, powerful man melted Laura Lee's defiant, defiant heart with the aching hunger of his love and with the sweet, urgent ecstasy they shared. So that's Laura Lee by Linda Ladd Miller. If you haven't tried this, check it out. I know it's an older book, so maybe you can find it at a, a youth bookstore or on uh, Amazon or eBay. Hopefully you can. Hopefully they don't want too much for it. And it's Laura Lee, Linda Ladd Miller. Excellent, excellent book. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, next I have Elicit, another historical, and uh, this is an American historical. You know, you don't get too many. You little historical be like sit over in uh, Europe somewhere or in England. Uh, but this is an American uh, historical, and it's Elicit by Elizabeth Ann Michaels. And I read some of this. Off, only 15 when her parents died, Laura Seymour was left to care for her sister and manage the family business. Now, Five years later, Seymour's is the finest dress shop in all of Charleston, but hidden among the silks and satin are dangerous secrets that will bring Laura face to face with the man who can betray her, even as his seductive touch arouses shameless desire. Major Brent McKenzie has come to Charleston to crack an insidious, an insidious smuggling ring. His search begins and ends with Laura Seymour, a sensual beauty as disturbing as the rumors surrounding her. She is the woman he must pursue, yet longs to protect and, po and possess with a passion that could destroy them both. And that's Elizabeth, Elicit, Elizabeth Ann Michaels. I really, really enjoyed this. And plus, I like a man in uniform, so highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> Next, I have Love at First Sight by Sandra Lee and read some of this last in a line of Celtic mystic gold learned early that witchcraft is lucrative 
Since no man dares marry into her family, she tells fortune and mixes potions to support herself, even though in truth she has no power at all. But lately it's been harder to take the commoners' money, for gold has developed an inconvenient sympathy for their plight. Fortunately, the rich, arrogant Baron of Skivik, or Skivik, or however you pronounce that, <laughs> is a different story. Suddenly struck blind, he will surely grant an ample reward for a remedy, and she won't mind taking him for all he's worth. Now all she has to do is fake a cure and be gone before he realizes her, her ruse. I really enjoyed this one. Love at First Sight, Sandra Lee. Have any of you read that? If you have, did you like it? I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, next up, I have Linda Howard. Excellent, excellent writer. Heart of Fire. Oh, let me tell you. Did I tell you when this was published? I'm sorry. Let me go back. Let me go back. Rewind. Um, Love at First Sight was published in 1999. And Illicit was published in 1995. And Heart of Fire by Linda Howard. This was published in 1993. And I'll read a little bit of this. I don't know if this is a contemporary or a historical. I don't even remember. But I, I remember some scenes from him. But I, I can't remember. Was it a historical? All I know is it's, uh, the, the female in here is an archaeologist. And she's searching for... I'll just read the back of it. Let me get because I can remember some of it, but I can't remember which one it was a contemporary or a uh, historical. A fabulous lost Amazon city, once inhibited by women warriors and containing a rare red diamond. A rare red diamond. It's, it sounded like myth, but archaeologist Gillian Sherwood believed it was real and she was willing to put up with anything to find it, even being Lewis, ruffian, knockabout, and number one river guy in brazil being with all men over six feet of rock hard muscle that rippled on his khakis with blazing blue eyes that that taunted her from his tan face jillian watched him come to a fast boil when she refused to reveal their exact destination of river up river in the uncharted rainforest and resolved to stand her ground neither of them could foresee what the days ahead promised an odyssey into the fairy heart an odyssey into the fiery heart of passion and betrayal and a danger that will force them to cast their fates together. He face together. Let's start all over. And a danger that will force them to cast their fates together, immersed in the eternal unsolved mysteries of love. <laughs> Sometimes these words just be going together like, what in the world? Really? Okay. <laughs> Linda Howard. Heart of Fire. Have any of you read this? If you had, let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Because I really enjoyed it. But I can't remember was it is. I think it was a contemporary. I think so. I'm not for sure. So don't take my word on that. <laughs> Next, I know this is contemporary. This is a romantic suspense. Virginia Cantrell, Close Up. And I'll read some of this. Lexi Scott may be the FBI director's daughter, but she's struggled her whole life to stay out of trouble and avoid the spotlight. When she's kidnapped by a survivalist group, bent on teaching her father a lesson, however, she must summon the courage she never knew she had. Lexi escaped their wilderness headquarters only to find that she's not alone in the woods. Suspended cop Jack Miller came to North Carolina to rescue his sister from her abusive marriage to the survivalist charismatic leader charismatic leader coming to Lexi coming to Lexi's aid can only compromise Jack's plans but he can't ignore Lexi's plight or resist her appeal sometimes when I be reading this I'm like this don't make no sense look like it just stopped in the middle of nowhere I don't know let me read that again suspended cop Jack Miller came to North Carolina to rescue her his sister from her abusive marriage to the survivalist charismatic leader. It looked like it ought to have a name right there, but it don't. It just got a period. Stop. <laughs> I'm like, really? But anyway, it was a good it was a good book. I really enjoyed it. Close up by Virginia Contrail. So have you read it? Have you have any of you read any of these? If you have, um, leave some comments below and let me know, know what you thought about these. Did you like these? 
was it a thumbs up thumbs down let me know and that was the virginia cantrell close up linda howard heart of fire sandra lee love at first sight elicit by elizabeth ann michaels and laura lee by linda laird miller let me know what you thought about thought about these below if you've read them if not go and check them out like i said you probably can find them like their old books did i oh my goodness did i tell you when these the last two was published i'm sorry when was this published um close up was published in 2005 and linda howard was published in 1993 and love at first sight i think i might have said love at first sight but i can't remember so i'm gonna go back and tell you again anyway and this was 1999 okay <laughs> if you haven't read any of these like i said you can go and find them out maybe at your used bookstore um hopefully um they don't want too much for those if you want to get the used books because sometimes especially if, if they're popular authors they have them they'd be kind of expensive but Keep my fingers crossed that hopefully you all out there can find them at a cheaper rate and if you will enjoy them hopefully if you purchase them um, you might and if you've already read them and it's been a long time go back and read them again that's what i i love going back and reading my because if i it's been a couple of years i don't remember some of some parts i remember and some of them don't it seem like i'm just reading the book over again until i get to something that i remember and then i okay i remember this book but anyway enough of that that's all i have today and like i said i probably won't get to do a video this week because i i'm real busy this week coming up so i might not get to make a video and if i don't i'll come back with two videos um the week after this week so that's all i have for now enjoy the rest of your weekend and until next time keep reading those romances bye